Hi everyone, it's Drew from Meisner Sewing and Vacuum in Sacramento, California. And today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the Baby Lock Solaris Vision Sewing, Quilting and Embroidery Machine. This is Baby Lock's premier top of the line sewing, quilting, embroidery machine. It offers one of the easiest to use interfaces, largest screens in all of the industry. It has one of the largest embroidery fields with 10 by 16 inches of embroidery area. It has a large over 11 inch work area on the inside. So today there are a lot of options out there for, for machines. And so today we wanted to walk you through and show you a little bit more about the in-depths of the machine. We're gonna cover a little bit about the sewing part of the machine, uh, some of the decorative stitches, the IQ designer, and also the embroidery part. So you really have a better understanding of what this machine can do for you with all of its great, great features that it has. So get, let's start uh, jumping in with the sewing part of the machine, and I'm gonna show you a little bit more. Okay, so now we're gonna jump into the basic fundamentals of the machine, uh, starting off with some of the basics of how to thread the machine or how to wind the bobbin. A lot of that uh, information on how to's are built right into the machine at your fingertips. So if I go to my little question mark with the movie clip, uh, I even have my manual here, which with wireless updates, the manual gets updated for the newest features. Uh, but we're going to go to my operation guide. We're going to go to basic operation. And if I wanted to see how to wind a bobbin, uh, it's going to go through step by step and show me all of the steps on how to do that. I can even go in and watch a video on how to wind the bobbin. So while you're at home, you forgot some of those little minor things. Some of the basics are built right into the machine. Uh, but again, no worries. It is very, very easy to use. Uh, we're going to go over the upper threading. I'm going to raise my presser foot, <clears throat> grab my thread, and we've got numbers and arrows all throughout the machine. Uh, under one, over two, around three, up over four, lower my foot, <clears throat> and this needle threader is phenomenal. I just come into my guide and simply with a push of a button, that's your automatic never miss needle threader. Our needle is threaded, ready to go. Didn't have to get out our glasses or do anything. Uh, we're gonna raise our presser foot. <clears throat> now there's a lot we can program the machine to do in the beginning when we uh, start our seams. <clears throat> I'm gonna program the reverse icon so it's gonna automatically lock our stitch. I'm also gonna touch our scissor button and then our pivot function. So what will happen is when I press on my foot control, the foot is going to automatically lower itself. I've then activated my lock stitch, so it automatically did the locking feature. And now we're sewing along. And as we stop, the machine is set with the needle down. And because I activated my pivot feature, that presser foot has automatically raised itself. All I have to do is push on the foot, foot control. The foot lowers itself. So this makes it very easy if we're doing lots of corners, if I'm doing applique, even for quilting, my hands can basically stay right on the project. I don't have to worry about reaching back and lifting anything. My hands are right on the material, supporting what I'm working on. And then when I get to the end of the seam, what we're gonna do is we're gonna touch the reverse button. And because we've programmed it to automatically lock, it's gonna lock this a stitch. It's gonna automatically cut the thread and raise our presser foot. So there, a beautiful straight stitch with lots of nice, easy uh, corners because of that sensor foot system. Uh, this machine also will sense different thicknesses of materials. So there we were working on two layers of a lightweight cotton. Um, if I went to some denim material, we're gonna start off with just two layers. We're gonna sew those together. We've got some speed there, up to a thousand stitches per minute. So I've kind of got those sewn. I'm just going to do a real quick cut. We're then going to go from two layers. I'm going to go up to four layers. <clears throat> and again, this what the machine is now doing is as that foot is going, the presser foot is going over different thicknesses, it is now going to adjust its internal settings to handle different thicknesses. So we're going from now from two to four up to eight layers. And if you can hear, well, you probably can hear, the machine is really not even changing in sound. It is just going right through those eight layers down to the four layers with ease of use. And that's some of the internal strength of the machine. Sometimes we wonder about how strong a machine is and the inner working parts and the metal casting on the inside that gives us the strength to sew from two layers of a lightweight cotton all the way up to eight layers of denim without a problem. Uh, we select a different stitch. I'm gonna go to a, a zigzag stitch. Uh, whenever I select a stitch, uh, my stitch width, my stitch length, my tensions, needle positions are all set for me. 
the letter of the foot, J, is the let recommended presser foot. That's all selected. I can come in and I can change my stitch width and make it wider. I can make it longer. And so we'll just do a quick little pass here with our zigzag. And we still have that auto pivot, fe auto uh, lock stitch uh, activated. We also still have the auto pivot feature uh, still on. It remembers that as long as the machine is on, it'll remember those settings. And when we get to the end, hit that reverse, it's going to do the automatic locking. It's going to cut the thread and then automatically raise our presser foot. <clears throat> and there's our zigzag stitch. <clears throat> now we also have a number of different stretch stitches. We can scroll through uh, utility zigzag, triple stitch zigzag. If you're going to install some elastic, uh, overcasting stitches, blind hem stitches. And that was all in utility menu one. We also have a second menu. Uh, some uh, more hem stitches, uh, blanket stitches, also known as some buttonhole stitches. Uh, number three is an heirloom menu. We have our different buttonholes, lots of different buttonhole choices. We even have directional sewing. This is pretty cool. So <clears throat> I could sew a straight stitch on an angle. I can sew sideways. So let's do this. I'm just going to quickly, we're just going to sew a... We're going to sew a box. So real quick, I'm just going to go forward. We're going to sew straight. Then we're going to sew to the right. And I'm actually going to turn off all of our automatic features right now. Then we're going to sew backwards. Notice I'm not even holding the material. I'm just letting it do it for me. I can't guarantee this every single time. But that's how good the feeding mechanism is. And there's our directional sewing. That is pretty cool. So I didn't quite line up, but we sewed down, right, back, and left. Uh, you can even sew a zigzag directionally as well. So now we've, we've kind of gone through exploring the utility menu. I'm now going to come into my character decorative sti stitch menu. And this is a whole new world now of decorative stitches. Uh, you'll see the numbers up top here of the different menus. And I can scroll through. Here in menu number six, we've got lots and lots and lots of decorative stitch options here. And again, that was just the first menu. Coming over to number seven, cute tree, some different leaves and florals. And here we've got some different uh, sayings. Oh, this is fun. And you know what? Th this one is really, really cute. Let's go ahead and try this. Now, for this particular one, uh, we've got a spool of thread, a pin cushion, some scissors, and another spool of thread here. Um, it is recommending our N foot, which is our decorative stitch foot. Out. Some of our directional stitching, um, our, our decorative stitches, can be directional, meaning that not only is the material being uh, moved forward and back, it's also being moved left and right. And there we've snapped that foot on. And I'm just going to pause for a quick one. One little feature you may not be seeing is that my foot control is a multi-function foot pedal. So the pedal that my foot is using to speed up the machine or slow it down, I can actually just push on the pedal and it automatically lowers the presser foot. On this machine, I don't have to push the button or use the lever on the back. And I'm just going to simply guide the material here. You can kind of see that it's going forward and back and left and right. And that's going to give us some extra wide decorative stitches. And then I'm going to hit the circle, the end function here. So what it's going to do is it's going to complete the pattern that it's on. So it's not going to stop right in the middle of that stitch. And once it's done with that particular pattern, it'll go ahead and stop. And here we go. And then cut. And that, that is just pretty darn cute. Our spool of thread, our pin cushion, our little scissors, and then it repeated itself, and then we ended at the end there. 
All right, so maybe we want to do something like a, a quilt label, where we don't need big, bold embroidery. Uh, so I'm going to select one of my styles here, my fonts, and I'm going to say made by. So I'm going to do M. Oop, and it's still, it, it's actually programming the M onto my previous decorative stitch. So we're going to go in and we're just going to delete that out. So we're cleared out to a fresh screen. And then M, A, D. And it's so simple, I just come in and just type in what I want to do. And then obviously we could put your name here. We're just going to do made by, and it's that simple. I've just gone on the screen, typed it in. Again, this is another one of those de directional stitches. So not only is it moving the material forward and back, it's also moving it left to right to give us those extra wide, bold stitches. And I'm just making sure that the material is staying true going into the machine. And then lettering, it's that simple. Made by something you could program. Again, something like a quilt label would be perfect. You could put someone's name or the date of what it was for, uh, maybe that grandbaby. So just really, really easy. So many different options with all the different decorative stitches. And it's just a matter of coming in and touching what you want. The machine sets it up all automatically for you. Um, and now I want to get into the uh, embroidery part of the machine and see more about it. So let's check out the embroidery. So now we're going to look at the projector in our sewing side of the machine. So I just touch the icon on the screen. It's preparing itself. It's going to dim the lights. And here it's actually projecting right on the screen. I can see what that uh, stitch is going to look like. I can actually come in. I can make adjustments to the stitch. I can change the length of the stitch. I can change the width of the stitch. We could even go through and select different stitches and see how they would you know, be entertained per se on the material that I'm working on. So very, very cool how the projector, the camera of the machine can help me out in the sewing part of the machine as well as the embroidery. Okay, now I kind of wanted to show you quickly how we're going to convert over from our sewing part of the machine to the embroidery part of the machine. I come to my home screen, say okay, and I'm just going to touch, I'm actually, we're going to go to IQ Designer, um, but first we'll uh, just pull up the embroidery screen, get the arm over. Uh, we're going to change out my presser foot. I'm going to use our three-in-one tool that came with our machine and to slide to the back side. I'm just going to simply loosen this screw and the ankle that all of our feet snap on and off to for regular sewing is going to be changed out to our embroidery foot. That just wraps around. I can slightly tighten it. Use my three-in-one tool. And we are ready to cover the embroidery and cover the IQ designer. So here, <clears throat> we have a line art drawing. Something like that would be from a coloring book or a, a children's drawing. But what we're going to do is the machine is going to scan this hoop this image. I've got the piece of paper with a couple magnets that are just holding into place. And it'll actually convert this line art image into an embroidery design. So we're going to slide our hoop on, lock it down. And then we're going to come up to our scan feature. We're going to say a line design. And I'm just going to hit scan. Uh, there's a frame is going to move. We're going to say OK. And this is a very unique feature because of the camera function that the Solaris Vision has. Uh, part of its IQ visionary function is that it can actually see what is going to be inside of this hoop. And we're going to go through step by step of making a simple embroidery design from a line art drawing. Okay, so now the uh, image is up on the screen. We're just going to crop this down so I can see the green magnets on the screen. And I'm just touching on my arrows and moving it so the 
red lines on the screen are right around that cupcake. Say okay. And so far it looks good. I don't need to change any of my grayscale detection. I'm just going to say set. And now we're going to go through some of the steps of assigning stitches to this particular design. So to continue creating the design, we're going to go to our line properties and we're going to go to a fill. The type of stitch, do I want a running stitch, a decorative stitch? We're going to do just a standard uh, zigzag stitch. And then I'm just going to touch <clears throat> on the uh, line image. And there it's set. We're just going to say set. It's going to convert it over. We're just going to say OK. And just like that, we have now converted that line art image into an embroidery design. I could have gone through, I could have actually filled in the cupcake and added more to it, added decorative stitches, um, but I just wanted to show you how quickly, how easy we can go through by taking in a line art image and turning it into an embroidery design. And here in just a minute, I can show you how that looks sewn out. So next, I wanted to show you a little bit more about how the built-in camera can project the design for perfect placement. So I'm gonna go into our exclusive design menu here, and I can just select a stitch, and it'll pull, up on, pull it up on the screen and kind of give me an idea of what it's gonna look like. And this is really a beautiful hummingbird. Nice, beautiful butterfly. And you know what, I'm gonna go back to that hummingbird. And we're just gonna say set. Now the design is gonna automatically be uh, centered in the hoop. I can just touch and drag to position that design where I want it to go. Uh, for the time being, I'm gonna go back and move it to the center of the hoop. And uh, when we're done, we're gonna to go to embroidery. <clears throat> and now I'm gonna select my projector icon. So the machine is now going to turn on the camera and now I, I can scroll through where I want to see, so I'll come up to the top. I can see exactly where the top of the wings are gonna go. I can see right where its bill is going to go. I can come down to the bottom tail feathers. And there I can see right on the material where the tail feathers are gonna go. So as I'm positioning the design, let's come back up to the head and the bill. I can then use my arrow keys and start to move the design so I can get it exactly placed. So by having the machine with the camera, with the IQ visionary technology the machine has, project the design right on the material, you're getting perfect placement every time of right where that embroidery design is gonna go. That really makes the whole entire process of hooping the material in placement is, is, is a breeze. The machine is just doing it all automatically for you. So I can concentrate on sitting back and relaxing, uh, maybe having a little cup of tea or a cup of coffee while my machine is embroidering perfectly placed the design where I have set it. So now we're gonna explore a little bit more about the built-in lettering. And once we've got some lettering, we're gonna see another functionality of our built-in camera function. And so let's just select a font. And we're gonna say Solaris. So I'm gonna select S. Uh, it defaults to a large size, so I'm gonna touch for a medium size. Then we're in our uppercase, so I'm gonna go to a lowercase. And I can actually go in and see how the design is going to look in a different font style. So most other machines, you'd actually have to go back and reprogram this from start. Uh, but here with the Solaris uh, Vision, I can just touch on screen and see what font looks best for me. And I think that's a fun font, so I'm going to say OK. Now next we're going to set the design. And then we're going to go to our embroidery. And then we're going to scan. And the hoop. So the machine is actually now going to take a picture with its camera of what's in the hoop. And if you'll kind of notice, I made a drawing. That's supposed to be a pocket like what's on a t-shirt. So now we're pretending that we've got a, a shirt here hooped. And I've got my design. I've got the, the drawing on the screen here. So I can now bring my design over. 
and position it. And let's close out this screen. Let's go to our layout. I need to rotate that. We need to rotate it. Look, I can rotate down to 0.1 degrees. We're going to rotate one degree in a second. In a third, now I can go back to layout, go to move, and we can move that down. So now by saving the image of what's actually in the hoop, I have now perfectly placed the design right where I want that to go above that drawing by scanning a picture of the hoop. Another function of what the baby lock visionary <clears throat> visionary functionality of the camera can do for us. So I'm just going to say OK. So now we've covered uh, some of the basics about the Baby Lock Solaris Vision. We could probably spend days going over all the amazing features this machine can uh, do for you. And honestly, if uh, I was buying a machine for my my mother for her dream machine, uh, she she I would buy one for her. Uh, my my wife even has one. Um, and for you, we do have zero percent interest financing available. It is through Synchrony Financial. Uh, give us a call over the phone. Uh, best pricing can be given over the phone to you. You can call our 800 number. Uh, see it on the screen here. And again, please reach out to us with any questions, anything you have. Thank you for spending the time uh, with us today so, uh, exploring the Baby Lock uh, Solaris Vision. And hopefully you'll have one of these machines in your home too. Thanks. Have a great day. Thank you.